12 months ago in this very match, it ended in heartbreak for us. We lost against Ronnie O'Sullivan by 13 frames to 6. And in today's final session, can we get that sweet revenge we've been waiting for for all that time? Hello the folks, it is TIJ Gaming and welcome back to the Snooker 19 Pro Career with Neil Robertson. And today it is time for what should be the final session of our matchup against Ronnie O'Sullivan in the last 16 of the Betfred World Championship. And the scores on the doors after 14 frames is at 9 frames to 5. Now, you could say it could be 11 frames to 3 because in that all-important 12th frame in the last episode... Ronnie O'Sullivan stole a frame away from us. We just needed a colour. We got it, but then we snookered ourselves. We had a real chance to go 9-3 up. We were 8-3 up at the time. The chance to go 9-3 up. And, uh, yeah, we snookered ourselves. Couldn't get the points back. Ronnie battled very well to win that 12th frame. That then made it 8-4, and then it was one frame apiece until the end. So at the 15th frame, we now lead by four frames at 9 frames to 5. It's still a very good advantage to have at this point, 14 frames in, but I think at, at the, at the uh, well, at the worst, I guess, at 10-4, it would have uh, been a match that probably would be over, but Ronnie is still in with a chance. So today, we have potentially a bumper session. Um, if it does go down to a decider or something ridiculous like that, we won't play 11 frames. Uh, just haven't got the capacity to do that. There's no way I'm going to do a two and a half hour video or, or, or however long it might well be. But uh, we'll see how we go today. I think we can beat Ronnie in this session. So we're going to call it an eight frame session. Uh, so really we've got to win four out of the eight frames. And the way we've been playing, you'd hope we can do that. But let's just see how we go. So you might think we fast forwarded a little bit. But actually we haven't because uh, in the previous video we made sure that we played the break off for... Uh, this 14th frame to avoid anything happening like it did uh, a few episodes ago with that uh, save glitch. Not the best position on the black here, so we're pretty much forced to go into the reds early on. But this is a big swing frame, this is, it really is. It's huge. Obviously, if we win it again, we go five frames in front. Would you call it game over at that point? Possibly. Again, we can't think like that, but I'm just talking from an. Uh, analytical point of view. It's it's tough. I have to do two jobs here. I have to provide analysis as a commentator, but I always also have to make sure that I stay level-headed as a player. So uh, you can't get too carried away. Bit of a tricky black here. This could uh, be a bit of a problem should we not get this right. Oof, I think we overdid it slightly, but we just got away with that. Good pot. But it was a nice split, actually, and uh, gives us a good opportunity here. Just wants to go for this red on the cushion. We know we can. We knew we could get to it before the shot, so there was no risk involved. It's always a bit of a risk, I think, when you're going for one inside the pack. That's ended up more awkward than he would have wanted. I do agree with Neil Folds for once. Hmm, that is very awkward. So I think our only option here is to, oops, get the camera angle right. Uh, play the blue and then give ourselves one of two chances and I'll explain what they are should we pot this. Well the one's fairly obvious, there's the one on the cushion isn't there? But then there's a long pot I do fancy and it's this red here and it's pretty straight, I think it's probably the best option certainly the best way to get position back on the black ball I would have thought but a great chance at the start of frame 15 Again, we've not really done all that well to get on the black. It's okay, though, because we're quite a distance from the cushion this time round, so we get away with it. Just the backspin's not ideal hmm, to get on a red here. That's rather annoying. So I'm glad that one on the cushion's still there. I'm going to go for that. Again, I don't want to take too many risks at this point. I do feel if Ronnie can get back into this by winning this frame, it would be uh, a lot lost, really. There's uh, quite a bit of pressure on us, I think, this frame. I mean, really, as long as we win 13-12, it doesn't matter what we do. But I think the advantage we've got for Ronnie to come back from here, it's therefore going to mean he's going to have a hell of a lot of momentum behind him. And uh, 
a Ronnie O'Sullivan with momentum is a more dangerous Ronnie O'Sullivan than your, your average Ronnie O'Sullivan, and uh, he's pretty dangerous. <laughs> but a uh, good break of 38 so far, actually. Rather annoying that we're stuck on the red, so our queuing is hampered a little bit, so we're just going to have to go follow through on that ball and then just play for the black. 39. So it is first to 13 here, of course, in this match. First session was 6-2 uh, to us. It was a very strong session for us. The last session, though, it was only six frames because of uh, time difficulties. But um, it was a drawn session at three frames each. That meant, of course, that we retained our advantage. That's not a great shot, is it? Mm. 54. Hoping that we've got a bit of a sniff at something here. But no, I don't think we have. Don't fancy that one particularly. Might have to call it quits on this break, but it's a break of 54. One that I'm more than happy with. Just judge what we need to get to the cushion and then hit it a bit harder to try and get near to the middle of the table. That's not a bad shot. Overcooked slightly, but you know what? Actually, I'm happy with that. It's just a safety here from Ronnie. And, ooh, well, that couldn't have gone much worse. He's not left much of a chance, though, it has to be said. That's not ended well. Tough shot, but not what he was hoping for. It is a... I wouldn't say a half chance. I think it's more than a half chance, but certainly a very good chance on this red up to the ball pocket. And a cracking pot there. That's a beauty. He really looks in fine form. So we're on the blue, and uh, this break should be enough for us to win the frame. Admittedly, I did forget to... Uh, Put my phone on silent before we started, so apologies about that. Just an email. Luckily, we've got a few options here, so we're not just restricted to the one ball. So seven reds remaining, that means there's 83 left on the table. We're 60 ahead, so we're nearly there in this frame, and I think, if we, as I said earlier... It's such a swing frame, this. Oh, we didn't really need that touch on the red, but it was uh, expected. Mm. I just don't want to take the risk on the black at this point. The blue's set itself up nicely, actually, a fairly straight pot. Well, I'm not surprised so he's taking on the long pot It here. seems from pot and position perspective that it's the best shot to play. Wonderful shot. Well. So after this, there will be... Five reds. No, there's not one sneaking up the bulk. That's all right then. So there'll be five reds left on the table. So red and colour. I'll tell you what, we very nearly under hit that. I did panic when I hit it. I thought, oh God. So, 67 ahead. 68 left on the table. Just the colour needs. I'm going to go for the blue. Just based off uh, previous frames. I'm not mentioning one. <coughs> frame 12. Where uh, we had put ourselves in a winning position and then just snookered ourselves. Good. Just need to give ourselves that gap just in case something stupid there. happens. So with that blue, that should be the frame. But I think you can notice the way we're talking and the way that we're playing. We are playing a little bit safer than we maybe would be. But I don't think it's restricted our play too much so far. I think it's just sensible more than anything. And I don't think there's anything wrong, especially at this point of the match, um, at playing sensibly. But that's a great frame to win, providing we do win it. I think we're I think we're over the line and safe now. And I think this red does go. Yeah, it does. I mean, we're 80 ahead with 59 left. Uh, sorry, uh, yeah, 59 left on the table. So we've got to be pretty unlucky. Yeah, and that red just basically confirms it. 81 now with 51 left on the table. So, to be honest, I'm not really going to play about anymore. Might as well just uh, feather this pink. Make sure we hit it and uh, get on with the next frame. So I'm not bothered about continuing really here. Neil Robertson, 27. So we needed four. We now require three to get through to the last eight. So that, of course, will be the furthest we've ever got to in the World Championship. The last two years, I've mentioned before in this video, what happened in Season 2 with the defeat against Ronnie. And then in Season 1, 
we took Mark Allen to a final frame beside her and lost it. And I'll tell you what, again here, we've got a very good chance to start a break. Pick that one out. Lovely pot. Reminds me of our uh, our pro days. Where uh, we could just pick out most things to pot, to be honest. Hoping this runs. Ah. We haven't quite perfected that shot yet. Hmm. This is the only problem with uh, playing that shot. If you don't get position, it's a little bit awkward. This looks to be a pretty simple safety here. Just get that red out of the way. Ooh. I overhit that one slightly. Wants to cover the red. We didn't, I don't think. Oh, luckily we do. Where's the cue ball going? No, it's okay. So there's now two reds up bulk. So we're going to play the negative shot here. I don't think anybody can particularly blame us. Just play up to the reds. I'm just going for a touching ball here, it seems. And there we go. It is touching ball. Touching You've got to hit the cushion, so... I think in real, real life we'd be heading for something like a re-rack because neither player is going to want to give up position at all here. I wonder if you can see that red. No. So, again, heading for another touching ball fiasco. Needs to be careful though. The more, more we push these reds in, the more chance he's got of seeing uh, this one here. And not just necessarily for... Seeing it, I'm talking about uh, seeing it for a pot. So I decided to play the cue ball away from the reds there. I think that's okay. Always oh, played up bulk, but uh, he's played quite an aggressive shot here. Tried to get back down to the black cushion. He's certainly not done too bad there. Made our job a bit more difficult, granted. Hmm. If I ever hit that one, don't really know what we were thinking there. I think we get away with it, though. No, left nothing on. That's okay, then. Just a shame we're so close to the cushion, or else that would be a good chance to get us back to the cush. Just gently tap this. We don't want too much of a tap on it. Hmm. Yeah, we left a half chance. Yep, he's going to take it. Hmm, I did think so. It was just a case of uh, all coming from that black, wasn't it, earlier? Six. Didn't hit the top spin hard enough to get on the red and just played into the reds. And this is what happened, of course. There were the two reds that uh, went up bulk. But Ronnie's found himself out of position. Sullivan, Quite a poor safety shot, you have to say. So he's left a half chance for us here. I'll tell you what, we really got away with that. I felt well, like that... From there, Ronnie could well have won the frame and still might do, but this is a crucial pot should we get it and pick that one out. Lovely stuff. Don't know why he gave us that opportunity at all. Really puzzled me. Very strange. Well, we're going to have to play with some side here, so we need to bloody make sure that we get the presented shot right. Which we have. We've got the pot. We've just knocked one red on. Oh. oh. Look at that. God. That was very nearly a foul shot. Well, we're going to go for the plant here. Makes a bit more sense. Open things up. Yep, it's there. But well. Well, well, well. I said last frame I was playing a bit safer. Just seemed like a good chance to get the balls open. 
And it's alright if you're at the table. Bit of a different story should your opponent be there. But to be honest, if Ronnie wins this one, as long as we can keep that four frame advantage, as long as we can keep him far enough away to be comfortable, then I suppose it's okay. We'd we'd love to win all the remaining win all the next three frames and get it done, but that doesn't happen sometimes. We're very lucky to be in this position, but I'll tell you what, I can't believe that because Ronnie has uh, made a big mistake there. Completely uh, got the position wrong. So, I mean, it might seem a silly shot to play, but a position we were in was that uh, I thought we were out of the frame. So we might as well go for a half chance here. Oh, look at that. I didn't think that would drop, you know. I just thought to go for that as a half chance. And we wouldn't leave too much on. But uh, that's a cracking pot. really is. The only trouble is, we've not left the easiest colour. But pot this, and uh, it's a big opportunity. Great shot. Great shot. We do like a good long pot. And this, I think now, where the balls are, where we put the balls, remember, before we went in off. It's very much our frame to lose now. And winning the first two frames of this session, that puts us in a very, very strong position. But it's not all over yet in this frame. We still need to get the balls. Remember, there's still... Quite a few left, so because it's been not one of those frames like the majority, to be fair, today. Uh, well, not in today's episode, but in the match overall, a lot of the frames have been have been one-sided and fairly big breaks. This one though, it's going to be a little bit different to that, so it's not going to be the biggest scoring frame. Twenty-three. Not ideal, really. There. Hmm. That's a go for another long distance long pot. A long distance long pot. What else would a long pot be? A short distance long pot? <laughs> but we're going to have to go for another long pot here, which we've positioned ourselves nicely for. Just to get back in position. Try and get on the blue. I always think from the blue you can so, this play wherever you want. Right Good shot. Nice Ooh, that's uh, over hit for the blue. But uh, it's still okay. Providing the two reds that we want to get on. Thirty-six. Oh well, yeah, that's a bit of luck. I wasn't even looking to get on that red. But we're bang on straight on it. Might as well get the one in bulk out of the way, which we have. Thirty-seven. So twenty-six ahead. Colour red colour. And we're only two frames away. And only 20 minutes ago, we were four frames away. I feel like that's a bit of a get out of jail free card. And I think Ronnie won't be happy with that. Should we go on and win this, of course, now? So, just the black needed here. Or whatever other colour. And we're getting, we're getting good at our long pots, so we might as well position ourselves to get the long pot to avoid another frame 12 situation. So you'd think with this red, frame 16 would go the same way as 15. And it's there. And that should be 11-5. I can't see any way back for Ronnie from here. And this match has really been the best we've played in a long while. I really believe that. Just the colours remaining. We could still lose this. I really can't see it from this point. Again, we're we're getting a bit complacent, but you know, having a six frame gap at this point, I just I just can't see it. Maybe in real life, it could happen. You start playing stupid shots, but I think on this game, we've got to do something crazy for Ronnie to get. Um, 
let's say, well, yeah, six out of eight. Six out of eight? Six Is that a lot? No. What am I on about? If Ronnie got six out of eight, we'd win anyway, you muppet. What am I on about? What? I was trying to make a point there. Seven. But my maths was completely off. I'm trying to think what point I was trying to make. It's not, well, I suppose, all right, then go for that logic, six in seven. I can't see that happening in the game. Yes, that, that was the point I was trying to make before, but uh, at least we've took away the shine, unfortunately. Well, at least, unfortunately, we've took away the shine from a brilliant break of 83, which has secured the 16th frame. And as I said, we're only two away now from reaching the quarterfinals. Thank you, frame 17. Neil Robertson to break. I'd love to go back and watch the last 16 match from last year because Ronnie must have just played much better. To be fair, we've played very well today. I think last year we just didn't play well at all and that gave Ronnie a chance. A little bit like today, again, at the start of this round. I think he might have got away with it. No, he doesn't. Again, we're not really having to do much to get in. That was a really tough shot and it hasn't worked out all that well. And that's just helping us out to win the frames aiming for the left corner here that is a quality opening red let's push that red out of the way makes our next color a bit of a problem though I'm wondering can we get behind the brown i don't think we can really just trying to work out what we go for we could go for a pot Try and play into the reds next time round. So if we do that... Hmm. Okay, pay over enough top spin to hopefully well, open up the one red. That's a great pot. Just need it to run a little bit more. Yeah, good decision in the end. I'm happy with that. If we'd have played it much harder, we'd have had a bit of spot above it. Problem is the black's uh, in a bit of an awkward position there. So this isn't the best chance for us, but it's not really a surprise if your opponent only leaves one red, then uh, you're not going to have much of a chance, are you? We know what a prolific long potter he is. And so it kind of turns to the case of long. you haven't got to work to get that initial opportunity, but you've got to work long. very hard to make Brilliant. that initial opportunity, Ten. make that initial opportunity count for you. Like now, I might have considered potentially opening up all the reds, smashing them open, but. Is there much point? Hmm. The thing is, what else would we do? I'm trying to think what... Yeah, I think we're going to have to open them up here. That split is not bad at all. Because if we went for the um, blue next time round and went for the split, I don't think it would work so well. So, good decision there, I think. Just need to make sure we pop this pink. Which we have done. Black does quite doesn't quite still go. And pink's off its spot, so we're gonna have to go for a long blue next time round. The aim here is to get the black into the game. Obviously, it can be a lot more fluid. The cue ball doesn't have to travel so nearly as long if uh, the black ball's in the game. Problem is, yeah, we've got to get the other side of the black actually to take that one red on. He's an expert okay. long potter, and he's taking this on. Mm, we've overhit that. We've point. overhit that. Mm, okay. Right. The aim there... ...was to get on the red... Um, ...fairly straight, and then play some backspin to get on the black. It's not quite worked in our favour though there. So we're going to have to take this on. Which is absolutely fine. Just compromise a little bit. So again, a bit more work to do. I think we'll get there. But Ronnie's barely had a shot. Very uh, reminiscent of the rest of the match, to be honest. 
but I think I'm right in saying that, again, there's not been a sentry made all match. I think it's just been our way of just getting in, getting an 80 or 90 break and just thinking, yeah, I'm not really bothered about accolades. Certainly in the early part of the match anyway, we just wanted to get over the line in frames. Which I don't think is unreasonable at all. Right, this should be the first chance to get on the black. That get off the cushion. That's okay. As long as we've got somewhat off the cushion. Apply the red, nice and softy softly, and then we can get on the black, hopefully. Red's there. And there we go, the black's on for the first time. Problem is, queuing's not so great from here. Looking to play Might this be the softly, softly approach again. So black's there, we're nicely on the cushion for this red. Can all go wrong though, these well can. 43. Nice, it's dropped. Just needed to run a bit more. 44. It has run. And again, that cheap blue's on. But we're going to have to rely on a bit of top spin here. Blue's there. And is this going to come down long enough for the red? Well, that's a bit of. Uh, a bit of luck in it. Lovely shot. Lovely. I did panic a bit at the start of this session, you know. I thought, hmm, this uh, could get a bit tricky if Ronnie wins the first frame or two. We've won the first two frames, win the first three, and uh, again, it's just a case of getting that last frame, which uh, I think everyone knows is the most difficult of all to get. Excellent call. Great queuing. 58. But again, that same logic applies. I can't see Ronnie winning uh, if it's 12-5. I can't see Ronnie winning eight frames in the space of nine. I can't see him doing that. 65. Well, he'd have to take it down to a decider now, wouldn't he? Yeah, of course he would, yeah. He just needs the red. So we just need the red. We've got it, and we put ourselves one frame away from the last eight. And I think to be in this privileged position at this point, you have to pinch yourself a little. I mean, we've overhit that. We've actually overhit a topspin shot for one surprise, surprise. Might as well give ourselves a bit of a half chance at this. And that's uh, a pretty good pot, you know. Can't complain at that. And seeing as we're in a bit of a lap of luxury now, we can breathe a bit. We've certainly got breathing room at a uh, gap of seven frames. I don't think we've had that in the whole match. We can try and take the first century of the match. Excellent shot. Now, our work doesn't stop, of course, until we get to the quarterfinal, but... I think now we can definitely start to believe that we've got the revenge that we wanted all year. You heard my reaction when we saw we had Ronnie in the draw. I was like, oh no. Oh, black doesn't go. I just want to get the sentry here. It'd be a pity to well, no surprises here. beat we'll be Ronnie so well and then not uh, get a sentry. I know we've not beaten him yet, I completely understand that, but That's a I think it's that case at, at 12-5, it's just a matter of time. Okay, if you guys wins the next five or six frames, it might be panic stations, but the way he's been playing, I can't see that happening. Oh, I'll tell you what, we've not left ourselves a brilliant chance to get on the red here. And that's by the bloom. Well, no surprise. This, here, this relies on good positioning. Blue's there. The position should be okay. It certainly is. Ninety-one. I could be completely wrong. There might well have been a sentry in the match, and I'm just, just being a bit forgetful. But I know we haven't made one. That's a good shot. Mm, hasn't quite run enough for my liking, though. But 
I think we're going to have to take it on. Is this going to be my biggest regret? Taking it on and missing it. Oh, of course it is. It's just not uh, one of those days, is it? We can get a frame, but just can't seem to get a century. Well, we move one frame close. We've won the first three frames of this session. We're in dreamland, basically, at this point. And we enter frame 18 knowing that Ronnie needs every single frame now in this match to proceed to the last 16. But that's a far better break-off shot than he's played previously, so I'm happy about that. Again, nobody wants to win. I mean, it's great to, but nobody really wants to win uh, a canter. Oof, tell you what, we've very nearly hit that red on the way back, but it's okay. It's always waiting for that last frame, isn't it? Oh, God. I think we'll know we'll get it at some point, but I've just got the feeling that Ronnie's got a bit more fight left in him at this point. Because I think we'll start to loosen up now. You know, some of our shots maybe might be a bit poorer. And I think he might get one or two frames here, but we'll have to see. If we get a chance, though, we'll try and take it to our full potential. This is developing into Again, it's a long tournament, and if we can get out of this only playing 18 frames... I would very much appreciate that. It's a good shot. That is a good shot there. Where's this red going to go? Mm, we've uh, misjudged that. Hit it too hard. We have given him a half chance. Is he going to take it on at this point? I think he might as well. Can't seem playing safe from it, to be honest. Well, it goes half a chance. He's taking the other one on, and it's a lovely pot. Great opening red. And this black, you would have thought, will open up the reds nicely if he gets it. Just wants to sink this into the left corner pocket. Eight. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, Surprised didn't go for a bit more aggression the there. So he's not left himself no. much on at all, and that's the problem. When you've got a tap chance, you should just take it rather than 16. doing this. To be fair, though, that one red does go. I wouldn't be confident in playing this, but Ronnie definitely is, and that's the split shot he was looking for. 24. So let's see. Can he win the frame? Can't do much sitting from our chair. It's nice to get a bit of a break, though. Well, this would be a bad end to the season for Ronnie. He's uh, shown a bit of, well, I wouldn't say class. That's very harsh to say, but to he's shown a bit of fight this season. He's, uh, I think he won, was it the UK's he won? I know he won one big tournament and he's done well in a few more. So it would uh, be a shame. You know, someone has to go through and someone has to go out. Obviously, we're loving to go through, but I think Ronnie's going to stay at six or even drop down. I don't know where he got to in Season 1's World Championship. I'd guess it'd be the last eight, at least. But if it was somewhere like the final, oof, this would be a sucker punch. 42. I think he can only see the one to the middle here, can't he? Yeah, he can. So he's got a bit of work to do 43. to get on a red for the next ball. Good shot. Yeah, I think I think he'll win this frame. When Ronnie's getting in, he's doing pretty well. The problem is his safety shot's been quite lack. Uh, the, 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 not just one individual safety shot. His safety shots have been quite lackluster in this match. He's taking this on to the right middle. And for the pink here. Oh, is he touching the ball that he was playing on? Well, that's unlucky. That is really unlucky. That's painful. Yeah, he was uh, very close to potting that, and he was touching ball, unfortunately. This is, really this is a good chance. Oh, so oh close. well. He needed some luck there. We've Are been good at our long pots today, but we missed that one. I think that's a bit of a get-out-of-jail free for Ronnie. It was only a half chance, and we had to hit it at some pace, given that we were queuing over the red. 
And I think this should be the frame for Ronnie. Now, I can't see him giving this up. Oh, he's lost position again. Well, he's just gone for a bit of a hit and hope and a whack here. Which, to be honest, he's not done too badly out of. He's nearly over the line here. But I'll be frank, I would love to... Well, he's definitely going to be over the line now. I'll tell you what, I think we've Ron followed in Ronnie's footsteps in this frame. Some of our safety play has been abysmal. But he'll win this 19th frame. It's his first frame for a while. I think it, yeah, I think it is that for, yeah, it's his first frame. Is it? No, it's not. Of course it's not. It's not his first frame since that 12th frame. That was his fourth frame win. But uh, yeah, that seems to be frame over at this point. So it's one frame longer we've got to wait to get into the last eight. Again, still no century made in this match. I think Ronnie was fairly close to making one, but made a real mistake, didn't he, on not getting on the red. I think he's just showing us here that he's not not quite gone yet. He can't do much now. But what he can do, he show uh, what good snooker he can play. Again, you're pretty much powerless to defeat when you get to this point. <laughs> I took from plenty of experience, but uh, you might as well show what you're made of. 39. We all know Ronnie's a good player. 40. Not necessarily in the Snooker 19 world. He doesn't live up to the Salbies and the Trumps. 47. Been at number 6 Just in the rankings for a long there. time now. And, uh, an early exit from the world, it seems, isn't going to help his cause. I think he might drop down. It, it, again, it depends where he got to in Season 1. He might have gone out in the quarters, but say he got to the final, which is very possible. That's, uh, you know, 200-odd grand down the drain, so we'll have to see. But, uh, again, this is the first frame, probably the first frame in the match, possibly, where Ronnie's won it without us scoring, and, you know, fair dues to him. Good clearance to 74 there. Solid stuff from the rocket. And uh, we now go into frame number 19. So that's the first frame Ronnie's won in a while. First one of this session, obviously. I'll take that as an opening shot. Good shot. Opens up the reds a bit here. Hoping for some safety. He's not really got it. He's left us at least a half chance. It's there. We've overcooked it slightly. Just need this to pull up. Mm, it's okay. Just. This should be straightforward enough. Well. I don't, want to, I, I don't want to get into this mentality now, but this is the problem. I mean, he's not going for the... But why was he not going for the pot there? That's a, a strange decision. Obviously, he couldn't see it, but I thought he could. Very strange. Well. It's okay, because... We've got plenty of frames behind us, but away penalty points we're playing a few else. stupid shots here. Foul and a miss. Ronnie it's not really helping our cause to get in over the line. It's just causing us more work. But I have to say, again, another poor safety from the Rocket. This won't be easy. So we only scored one point on our first chance. I think we get a bit more now. Off the cush. Hopefully we can see one. the black. Yeah, but we can. No. Blue it is then. Hmm. Do we play with some side here? I think we have to. The trouble is, I think with the pace we're playing it at. I don't know whether we can see it or not. The dog making a nice appearance. Yeah, 
can definitely see the pot. The problem is position. That's a poor oh, what we do there? <sighs> what have we done there? Why did I even play that? Neil Robertson. I was only looking at it, and then I thought, oh, let's just play it. This is starting to annoy me now. I don't know, but it's amazing how quickly you can change. We were playing brilliantly about 20 minutes ago. And now we're one frame away. We're playing some stupid shots. Very well played. I know it sounds crazy, but... Again, Ronnie wins this frame, maybe a next one, and a next one after that. And it, it's certainly not all over. If there's anybody who could possibly come back from this position, it's Ronnie. Decent position to take on a color. And if he opens up the reds here again, it's just, it's just a pain. We want to get out of here, really. We want to win this frame, get out of here, put our feet up, and wait till the next match. Well, I think we've been a bit too impatient. Twenty-four. That's why we were playing good snooker earlier. We weren't getting silly. We weren't playing stupid shots. Now, we could have just played a safety there, really. Which Ronnie's decided to do. Uh, good decision, I think, from him. Try and get this behind the brown. Hmm. Leaves a half chance, but... Again, there wasn't really much we could have done about that. Well, it goes half a chance. He's going for this, and he's potted it. It's just One. frustrating. This is. He'll be very happy with the position mm. here. One. Eight. We're just being far. Again, I keep saying it, but we're being far too impatient. Nine. As I said, I think it, as I said earlier, anyway, I think it'll come. He, he isn't going to win. Well, <laughs> he could do, 13. but I don't think he'll win six on the bounce. Should he win this, he's already got two on the bounce. If he wins this 18. frame, he's uh, out of position here though. Trying to play a good pot here. I think he's got it. 19. Can't criticise that. It's a lovely pot. But can he see the black? No, he can't. But he's played the green and he's played it really well. 22. Fantastic yeah, shot. Tricky shot coming up. But as I say, it's 7 12. And I keep saying as I say, so I need to stop saying that. At 7 12, it's really not over. Again, we were 12 5 up. That's a really comfortable gap, but the ghosts of season 1 and season 2 are just, are just creeping in. We really want this win. So I think we're so close to it that we need we want to grab it, but. Not every frame is a golden opportunity. But that should be frame one now. He's aiming to sink this into the right corner. Trouble is, he's not being as courteous as us. He just keeps playing on. But uh, luckily, that's it for this one. And, uh, well, Ronnie's got two in a row. And uh, this is frame 20 now. If Ron Ronnie wins the next six frames, he's through. I think if Ronnie wins the next six frames, I don't think I'll ever make a Snooker 19 video again. But, uh, okay, we've got a chance at the start of this frame. Let's just take it slowly. Really this nice could be the chance. One. This, really this is a shame for the other player, though, because... He could work and get every frame till the decider. Leave a chance like this and then, oh, it's all over. Whatever you do. That's why it's pretty much impossible to come back from where Ronnie is. It's just no me snooker all the time and you can't keep that up all the time. We've uh, underhit that one though, so I'm going to need a good bit of top spin, a good whack on the cue ball. I think we've gone a bit too there. far. Yeah, we have. Hit it a bit too hard, unfortunately. That's okay. Again, play safety from here. Just need to take it slow. Calm down. <laughs> Not getting a tiss or whatever. 
Okay. Just breathe. Interesting safety there. To be fair, he's played a very good one. Nicely done. Need to avoid the black on the way back. That's a good shot. Just now I tried to cut off that red, but I don't think we've done it. No. It was a decent attempt. But he's just going to play the safety here, so... Obviously doesn't fancy it. Or might not be able to get to it, I suppose. Are we really going to try that tactic again? That, it looks safe. No. Uh, well... I think the trouble is if... Okay, let's play the safety. Oh, do we? I don't know. I personally think whatever we do here, we're going to leave Ronnie in with a chance. I feel like it's just worth trying to make a chance for ourselves, personally. Now, I got on that red earlier. How did I manage that? How did I manage that? I put that red in the potting position. How the hell did I manage that? Did we need to hit it a lot harder? Yeah, that's it. Okay. This might be stupid. But I think we leave Ronnie a chance so either way. Mm, we overhit that. To be fair, apart from the one we've left on, we've uh, done a decent job there. Black's on the side cushion, so my acting's a bit trickier. Pink's out of action. To all the, well, uh, I think he can get this to two pockets, but needs Brilliant to pop the, uh, the red, sorry, and he's got it. One. Surely he'd go for the black here. No, he's going for the blue. Trying to open these up, which he does. Has he got a potting opportunity? Pot into the he right has. Corner. Oh, they all they always say, don't they? The final one is the hardest one to win. Well, <sighs> I think he's gonna get another one here. Down it goes. He's doing extremely well here. It's just starting to get frustrating. Can how can, how can you win three in a row and then done. and then start to stutter? It's amazing, isn't it? Guess this frame isn't all over, but you'd put good odds on Ronnie winning this one. That's a fabulous pot. What about well, the reds are all over the place now, so again, not much issue, I don't think. We can get in a position. Not like he's going to run out of it. How long's this gonna go on for? To drop this I, I'm gonna get very frightened if he wins the next frame. Very frightened because if he backs it nine twelve, the game is really back on. And I know it's only three frames he'll have won in a row here, but we seem pretty powerless to be stopping him. Whether it's a run of the ball or what, but. Uh, Again, we, we can't stop him at the moment. And I know in my mind, even if we do win this game and do well, if, if Ronnie brings it back to, again, a 9 or 10, that's going to be in my mind, not the great run we had earlier on in the match to put ourselves in this position. It's going to be, well, how did we give Ronnie the chance to get back into it? 52. So three reds left. For the blank. 51. 53. He's watched remain on the table. He's going to make that 43 by potting this red. 
and this win the key a shot. third frame in a row. In, you fancy him for the frame. 61. Six frames played very quickly, but uh, the gap doesn't change. It's it's still three each in uh, these, six, these six frames, so the gap still remains at four. Again, I just I just want the one bloody frame. <laughs> it's all we want. Seventy six. I said, well, I can't see Ronnie Ronnie winning eight in a row, but now he's won three in a row. It, it's something that's maybe possible. Goodness, mate. Again, still not the sentry being there. So it's not just us. Ronnie can't get one either. So I don't think a sentry's the thing that he's bothered about here. He just wants to get the frames on the board. Is this going to be the frame? I hope it is. Let's just hope this is the frame we need. Again, he's opened them up. Not the best safety. Don't know if he's inviting us for a, for error here, possibly. I don't know, but... Chance here. Impressive a good rate. pot. Just give him a good whack. And there's a decent opportunity here. One. Please, please, just do it this time. For goodness sake. I think we've got a good chance. We just need to keep the cue ball on a string. We should be okay. And in it goes. Really impressive queuing. Five. I mean, at the end of the day, we don't have to do this in one break. It's just a back to basics approach now. We need slight reading a book by Steve Davis. How to win a frame. How to win a frame of snooker. Because even then when you've won 12 in a match, sometimes you can just forget. Decent position to take on a colour here. 11. To be honest, we haven't played that well. Hmm. Yeah, whisper it quietly, but... Uh, Playing this with a lot of power. Need a good shot here to get on a red. Hmm, we might just be okay. Not ideal, though. Gently does it. I think we're going to miss this. He'll be looking to tighten up his game here. Huh. I mean, <laughs> can you believe that? Can you believe that? I mean, yeah. I'd. Re I just don't know what to say at this point. I really don't. We need one frame to win, and no just. There. Everything is... It's time to go to pot. We cannot get this last frame to get over the line. Nine. And it was that shot on the blue that uh, prevented Four, us three. getting position. It's almost like when Ronnie gets in, the balls are bloody beautifully placed. Oh, man. 20. Have you ever seen anything like it? I don't think anyone's ever come back from 5-12 down before, but they've certainly come back from 9-12 back, which I guess with Ronnie is the same thing as a 5-12, as a if you like, because he'd have come back from 5-12 and 9-12 if he goes on to win this match. But if he does, as I say, yeah, all right, I've done it again. If he does it, there is no way I'm going to do another Snoke Snooker 19 video. I'm going to hide in the shadows. Because this would be... We've had some pretty embarrassing moments, believe me. We lost to Jamie Clark in the first episode. Um, was it Jamie Clark? I can't remember now. I'm sure it was. 41. But thank God for that, he's out of position. Whew. You know, I said earlier that uh, no one wants to win without a battle. Uh, you know, I, I might have believed that for a minute, but at the moment... <laughs> The last thing I want is for Ronnie to give us a good battle. I just want to get over the line. Go on. Keep running, keep running, keep running. Oh, 
Oh, has he got a potting Should chance? He has as well. Oh! One. <sighs> Nothing seems to be going right here. It's painful. We've got to get out of our mind that Ronnie can do this, I think. Because then we will start playing stupid shots. Something needs to change. Because he's going to get a fourth in a row here. You'd think we'd get one chance at some point. And we've had chances, but we're not taking them. That's the problem. It's not necessarily that we're not getting the chance. It's just that we're not just taking the, the chances. And again, that's another frame. Gone. Another chance gone for us. I can't believe this. He was 5-12 down. We just needed one chance. Get in. Get the match done. But now, there's only one man who can seem to be doing that at the moment. Thirty-four. Forty. Well, that's why I love snooker. Just the colours to go. A match that can change. A blink of an eye. Forty-five. Forty-nine. Half an hour ago, you you wouldn't be thinking you're watching the same match. But here we are at this point. I think definitely now at. 9, 12 down, the gap between us only 3, and uh, again, 60. he's back in the game, 66. another good clearance, and, frame, and another frame gone, 12-9, remember, just half an hour ago, it was 12-5, I hope in the next half an hour, we'll have got through to the last 8. But equally, what we're now good doing is just chucking at chances and hoping for a bit of luck. We might as well just play the safety game, wait for a chance, and hopefully take it, learn how to win a frame. Wow. Oof, it's gone in off there. Was elected to play on here. Problem is, again, it's not really much of a chance for us, unfortunately. Oh, this could be a good shot. This could be a good shot. Come on, come on, run. It's, uh... Oh, is it? I can't tell. I think he can just see the side. Ah, it's annoying. Play that a bit harder. We'd have had a lovely shot there. But uh, we got the red safe here. That's uh, a good shot in itself. The red's a lot more open now. I think we've certainly left a half chance. Uh, no, I think the blue actually blocks that. Or the pink. I don't think there's a gap in between those two balls to get there. No, nope, there's not. Oh, that's not the best safety. But once again, he seems to just be getting away with murder. I don't think that does go. Perfect pace required for this shot. Oh, I can't tell. Oh, it does. I just had a hunch. <laughs> it's not served us very well, but I uh, just had a hunch that that would go. And for once, it served us quite well. This is a fragile situation, isn't it? Ronnie sat in his chair. I'd be grinning if I was him. Because uh, there's no way in hell that half an hour ago he thought he'd have a chance to win this match. Need a good split. Don't you dare. Oh, my God. This is painful. This is just painful. Decent position to take on... I've lost any sort of 
Seven. Well, I've just lost for words. Really am. That's twice that's happened. I'm trying to get a split. Didn't happen earlier. At the run of the table. Of course, now we haven't. 13. Surely it can't be another frame going down the drain with his chance. He's going for the long pot, and he's got it. But surely even Ronnie can't put this one in. No, didn't think so. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 14. Played a clever safety there, there. This safety Bit of a shot to nothing. Skills. Oh, lovely. He's got it. Excellent shot. Good shot. This might be a chance. And it is. This by far the best chance that we've had. Come on. Let's just get this bloody thing over with. Nicely onto the black. One. We've won twelve frames. We just need one more. That's all we need. Eight. Our positional play is a bit weak, isn't it? Nine. Just about on the black, but again, I just haven't got the confidence to go for it. Aiming for the centre pocket here. That's Blues you. there. If we've got any position, we'll certainly have a sink position for a long pot. There's a few chances we've got. The one chance I'd quite like to have, unfortunately, I think he's going to be blocked by that blue. Yeah, it is. Easy. Not an easy shot down the cushion, but I think it's the best shot we can play positionally. Well played. That was made Good more shot. difficult due to the rest being used. Fifteen. Can get to the pink, and I think that a straight shot at this, this point of the match is probably our best uh, hope for not making not any there. stupid mistakes. Oh, wonderful shot! I can't believe we've only scored twenty-one points. This is going to seem like the toughest break of our life. Again, another, another poor shot there, I'll be honest. 22. How do we land on a red here? Just out for a bit of a run of the ball. He's lost position here. Tough. <laughs> yeah. You know exactly what's going to come out of my mouth then. Oh my god. Really? to ensure he gets this cue ball tight to the cushion with the shot. Need that to pull up. Ah, it's not. Mind you, it's only a half chance. Could miss this. He's attempting to get the white tight Just playing the, the safety. You know what, I don't blame him. Pace is critical here. Oh, God. I just went for the... I'm, get, I'm really starting to get fed up now. Really am. It's just... Yeah, I, I can't believe this situation. He's just playing safe. He's knowing how to get to us, is Ronnie. And to be fair, there's absolutely no chance for pot on here, so... Hmm. I don't see how we can get this cue ball safe. The safety battle continues. It's going to be possible. It's the middle, isn't it? If we scupper this, that's not bad. We've got his snooker on all but so one ball. The He's going for the pot, and he's missed it. 
Well, so is this finally our that chance? <laughs> We've had plenty of them, so I don't know why I'm going on about. Oh, please, we need a chance. We've had bloody plenty of them. Trust it to be a scrappy frame to get over the line. One. I think, again, I don't want to talk too early, but surely this time we can do it. I'll tell you what, if I'm this breathless at the last 16 stage, Christ, if we get to the final. <laughs> oh dear, I don't know how I'm going to cope. Bloody damn. He's playing for the right corner here. Hmm. Okay, overheat slightly, but it shouldn't be too much of any show, wouldn't have thought. It's going to be tricky to get on the other reds here. But we'll have a decent gap. So that's all we really care about. So, 27 ahead. 51 left on the table. Surely we can get a decent split of some sorts here. We'll take that. We'll take that. 18. Just be a nice tap into the pocket. It's there. We're getting close. We're getting close. Oh, it's not the best positional shot. 34 is our lead. It's a big target here between this brown and green. That's probably our best move. Yeah, good shot. Happy with that. There's a big target there. He's hit the red. And I'll tell you what, he's not really left it on. He's played a very good shot there. I'd say he's not really left it on. He's left a very, very sort of half chance. Take it on, and we've basically won the match. But I'm going to be a chicken. So now I'm taking that on. Problem is though now he's got a chance on it, which was just stupid. Should have just got it on the cushion or something. Again, we haven't had a brain with our safety shots. And again he's potted it. One. <sighs> oh Jesus wept. Left that a little bit more tricky than he would have liked. We're very nearly over the line in this frame, but clear a fin up here and Ronnie Ronnie sure. takes it to Nine. Oh another frame. I'm not I'm really not liking this. Sixteen. Just the colours to go. <sighs> Five in egg. Eighteen. Twenty. And he's gonna he's won this frame, hasn't he? Flip it now. Twenty five. <sighs> Why don't we just go for a whack and go for the pot? Why? It just feels like the gods are, are coming for us here. I mean, there's a maximum of three frames left, right? And... <laughs> From needing one in eight, we now need one in three. You can see how the pressure's starting to grow. This is, uh, well, a really worrying situation. Really is. Pace will be very important with this shot. Not an easy one, but a half chance. Good pot. Again, you can see we're getting a bit like Ronnie now, just whacking the ball around, getting frustrated. One. But uh, I think here we've just got to play a bit of sensible snooker. Just getting behind the yellow. 
forcing to play a difficult shot. That's what he was after. Nicely played. Neil Robertson. Big enough target here. Yep, yeah, he's hit one. That's not ended left, well. Touch left a shot, half chance. Not what he was hoping for. Oh, bloody hell. Everything has just gone to pot here. We've, we've, we've lost it all. We could very easily lose this match now. and Well, I think I'd have to go and weep all day. He's potted the red. But he snookered himself. Well, he hasn't snookered himself. He snookered himself on the black. That was a pretty poor reply as a safety. Very poor reply. That's a pretty poor attempt, really. I'm not even going to say anything to do with That's having a chance ball. now. Great Just a bloody jinx at this point. One. He's an expert long potter, and he's taking this on. Oh, potting's fine. Well, to a degree. It's our position that's the problem. When we're getting the position, we're potting the balls. We just can't seem to get any position for Toffee. Now, can he drop this into the right corner? What a top pot that was. Pot. What a wonderful pot. Seven. Okay, this shot gives us a half chance. Nine. Yeah, this red's a half chance. Not an easy one, but a half chance. Oh, well. That was a shot to nothing, and I'm happy with taking that on. I've got no regrets. Neil Robertson, nine. Can't see it there, luckily. That's a good shot. That is a good shot. Excellent safety shot. He's playing the safety and aiming to get the cue ball. Just trying to get to a similar position as we are now, but I think we've overhit that massively. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh! Save us, please. Pick that one out. He's played that very well. I have hit it to get on the cushion, but certainly not to give ourselves a chance. Oh, I said I wasn't going to mention that word. It's half a chance, but a chance nonetheless. We like to make things hard for ourselves, don't we? Goodness me. Outstanding pop. I've just lost complete confidence with the black, to be honest. That's great cubal control. I'm just, I'm just not liking the position with the black at all. One. It's not working for us. Seven. It's restricted our play, definitely. He's taking this on. What a good part. Pot. Great positional shot. He'll be happy with that. Eight. So, where do we go from here? He'll play this with Bit of a hit and hope. Power. Gonna have to be, I think. Yep, that's okay. You'd have got quite good odds, wouldn't you, for Ronnie to win from 13-5 down. And I'll tell you what, after that shot, I wouldn't be surprised if it happens. <laughs> Whatever we try and do, we just can't get any plus order position. Let's try and stay in this break. Brilliant. Good pot. Simply brilliant. Just look at that for a positional shot. Super. Look at that for a positional shot. I'm not liking that position at all. 16. That's a plant on. I don't see how that's a good positional shot. 
I'm failing to see how the position's any good on that. At all. I think there's a plant on there, but no, it's not quite. So please, Neil Folds, please explain how it's a good positional shot. Well, he's taking it on. Because you've puzzled me. No, nope, missed it, but again, it was a bit of a shot to nothing. I just don't get how that was a good positional shot. Neil Robertson Brilliant position. No, it wasn't. It's just a safety for Ronnie. I thought this session might be scrappy, but I wasn't expecting it to be this scrappy. And to be honest, it's not been a scrappy session. What I mean by that is I hoped that we could get over the line nicely, but we've had to scrap for it. And to be honest, we've not done very well at scrapping so far. That's a uh, C word, though. <laughs> a chance. Good part. Again, our position is just lacking so much. It's painful. One. It's okay though actually, it's not as bad as I first thought this position. Can live with that. He's playing very well here. Seven. Blacks off its spot, which doesn't help anybody out. Where's this cue ball gonna end up then, eh? Makes the blue possible. But it doesn't give us great position. I suppose we could play some screw back off this. Yeah, it's not too bad. Well, he's looking Need to get the pot though. Into the right corner pocket. And it's there. Tremendous pot. He's right on top of his game at the moment. Thirteen. But again, I don't. <laughs> Please explain how that's a good position. How's he on top of his game? We haven't got any position. I'm really not getting this. They must be seen as a different table to me. And again, we played the safety and we've left a red. Neil Robertson, 30. He'll want to get this cue ball. If we haven't needed a break, it was now to reset. But luckily, it's also gets to take on that red. He fancies this red. And it's there. Excellent pot. Super. And we've got good position on the black. Yes, he'll be very pleased with that shot. What can he do here? One. Right. Keep our focus. We're 39 points ahead. There's five reds left on the table. For the red. Actually, 46 Eight. ahead now. Um, 46 ahead. Looking to play this with a lot. Of there's five reds left. Now four. So there's 59 points on the table. Nine. Oh Jesus. So, black and red is all we need. But even that seems flipping hell. Oh my god. That was a match winning position. You numpty. You absolute numpty. Oh my god. It's almost like we don't want to win this. <laughs> oh my god. One. Can you believe it? He's taking this on. Black and red, and we've won it. Now, chances are, Ronnie wins the frame. Position. Thank Seven. God, though, it's just a safety, but we were that close. And now we're going to have to embark on a stupid, stupid safety battle. Looking to <sighs> run this along the cushion. Missed pop. I wasn't going for the pot. I was just trying to get a bit more along the cushion, but we've left the pot. I just... Yeah. I know 2020 has been a strange year, but even this tops it all. One. Just the yellow there, so that makes matters a bit more awkward. He's attempting to sink this into the... Gets the red. What's his look like with the other red? Of course, it's okay. So he needs a good long pot here. He's aiming for the left corner here. And it's there. Well, Not much surprise. But if he's going for the yellow, 
Oh, well, he's going for the green. This leaves himself a little bit awkward. He needs everything here. I think he will. I just, yeah. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. He was 5-12 down, remember? This is going to be six in a row. And we just needed that black and red. 99 times out of 100, we'd have potted that. Well, and I really don't know what's happening to us here. It's massive concern. And, the frame. and, and now, Ronnie just needs two. Six. We need one of the two next frames. Ronnie O'Sullivan to break. I said earlier, didn't I? I said uh, we just need black and red, which we'd have thought we'd have got. But even that seems crazy. And yeah, another another shocking safety. Mm, well, no. There's a pot on here. Well, he's taking the red on. Could we seriously be heading into a decider? Just going for the safety there. Ronnie O'Sullivan. One. If this match goes into a decider, then I've seen everything. He'll be pleased with that. Twelve five we led. Nearly an hour ago now. Oh, give me strength. Well, he's got it. Great shot. He's attempting Let's try and to swerve our way out of this. Oh, we tapped the red. Thank God for that. He's played that to be fair, well. you've, you've got to um, give Ronnie the plaudits. We said, well, he'll, he'll get a frame or two, but hopefully we should win the match from uh, here. But much like earlier in the match... When one player doesn't play well, the other player took advantage. And there's no more important time really to take advantage than now. Ronnie will pinch himself that he's in this position. We're getting more and more frustrated by the frame. But now we seriously need to, to be, really be the opposite of that. Of their safety skills. Because we haven't won a frame for a while. This might be decent. No, we hit the green full ball. Okay. Is there a half chance he's going to be tempted with? No, just a safety again. Oh, blimey, he's opened things up there. That was a strange choice of shot. He's looking at this red. Brilliant pot, outstanding. They don't come it's much a good shot. Is the position going to come with it? One. Certainly, ooh, ooh, is it just gonna come? I'm not gonna, not even gonna try that. I just know it'd end in tears. Well, I'm not surprised he's taking on the long pot here. We're out of position. Oh my god! Give me strength. Don't even bother going in off. Oh, that's a bit careless. <laughs> oh my Ronnie word. Ronnie O'Sullivan, four. We led by seven frames. We lead by one. He's going for the left corner that pocket. could very nearly turn into nil. One. Right the, yeah, Ronnie's the favourite now. Ronnie's the favourite. I think he's out of position here, which he is. Not, not going to leave anything easy, though, is he? Of course he's not. I 
must admit, walking in at uh, four frames ahead, I didn't think this would be the last uh, match of the season. Hopefully, it still won't be. We're going to get out of jail free. But, you know, it's we've made the job very hard for ourselves now. We've got an incredible lead. And I, I can't believe sitting here talking that we've blown that lead away. That lead's gone. That safety battle over, though. Potting chance. He's playing the pot here. That's a good split. Good pot. Got a real here. Had to go for a whack there because it seems we need to open up the reds to give ourselves a chance. One. I really thought with that initial opportunity there that Ronnie was going to win the frame. We need to avoid him doing so here because I think if he wins this one, then if a man's won seven in a row, then you wouldn't think we'd be able to stop him given the form book. But the Reds are open here, but again, they're not in brilliant positions. So we've got to work for that. And at the moment, our positional play has been nothing short of atrocious, really. That's a fair description. Thirteen. We know what a prolific long potter he is, so I'd assume he'd take this on. Again, our pots are good. Good long potting. But have we got ourselves out of position again? It's just, it's ju it just amazes me this does. Just speechless, really am. <laughs> Might not sound it, but even if I am speechless, I've got to carry on. I'm commentating on the damn thing. Neil Robertson, That's okay though, I think. I'm sure that you can't see the pot here. He can, you know. But where's the cue ball going? Well, well, is that the turning point in this match? Possibly. It might not be, though, because there's no great chance. But what I did think with that is, oh dear, he's potted this. This could very much be game over. Where's this red ball going? Right over the pocket. I just... <laughs> we can't play a safety shot or a positional shot. For love nor money. Into this frame. It's what? just crazy. I really don't know what's happened today. Five. We're on such a high. Six. And we'll be on a high if we win this, because, you know, we, we forget all this, but... If Ronnie wins from here, it's just, well, unbelievable. Played it well. Thirteen. Fourteen. 21. Not the split he was hoping for there. But again, another good potting chance. 22. 29. That's a brilliant split. <laughs> He's going to win this frame, isn't he? 30. I said an hour ago, I didn't see Ronnie winning eight in a row. I don't think anybody would. But if he carries on here, he's going to have won seven of those. And the problem is, as I've said, we've completely forgotten how to lose a... Uh, how to, oh, we've certainly not forgotten how to lose a frame. We've forgotten how to win a frame. And just think, if we hadn't have won the first three of this session, we'd have lost by now. I think the worst thing to have done to have won those first three frames. It sounds silly. But with this red... We go to a decider. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to utter those words today. Really wasn't. Unbelievable. I've seen it happen to others, and obviously I've seen it happen in real life. Not as bad as this, but when players have crumbled, but I've never seen anything like this. And if we lose the next frame... 
I, I can't believe I'm saying this. We'll have gone from 5-12 up. We'll have led by 7. And we'd have lost that lead. Who loses a 7-frame lead? I mean, he'd missed the pink, thank God. But we concede the frame. And for the first time since frame number 2, we are level. It's 12 each. And that 7-frame lead we had has gone. This will be a test of his mental toughness. So close, but we've seen top players crumble in these situations. He really needs to keep his cool and not let... There's any frame we need to win. It is seriously this one. Luckily, we've broke off well. Forgive me if I take a bit more time over my shots now. That's a bloody great way for him to start with a snooker there. He's trying to be as risk-averse as possible here. Very well judged shot there. Good shot. Good shot. Navigated that nicely. Tricky pop, no doubt. We've been sucked in by the bait. But it's worked. Good pop. One. Oh, the bait didn't work for Ronnie. We nearly missed that black. We need to be careful. Eight. Just get some points on the board. Get some confidence back. Nine. We're no longer on a holy horse. We're completely level with Ronnie. And if we can't wake up now, well, on, don't deserve to win the match. Well, an excellent pot. Fourteen. <laughs> it's been an eleven frame session, by the way. <laughs> I didn't expect it to uh, go on this long. Goodness me. Need a bit of luck there to get on the red, but it's okay. I don't mind that. Again, there's not much we can leave on here. I don't mind that. At least we got some points on the board. And that's the most important thing in a decider. This might be stupid. But we know, above all else, we can pot a ball. And, uh, well, we can play a safety now. I'm happy with that. That'll do. That's an excellent safety. Neil Robertson. One. Pretty good safety from Ronnie, actually. This is developing into a fascinating safety battle. <laughs> this is uh, this is just unbelievable. I can't believe every growing minute. It's it's just not sinking right, in sure. in my brain. It, it's crazy. We're one frame away from getting into the last day, but we've been one frame away from getting into the last day for the last hour. He's taking it on. Another half chance here again. Just get reds. Keep getting reds. Means he can't score. That's a brilliant pot. He couldn't have played that any better. One. Lots of power. Get the black. Oh, actually, hang on. Let's not play this. Oh. Let's see what we can do here. Now we've got much of a chance. I'll tell you what though, I'll tell you what I did miss. That red. Urgh. I think it'll just about go. Let's play something good to get this off the cushion and back for a good position, but see what we can do. No, it's not quite worked. 
Okay. Eight. That's not helpful at all, to be honest. It's not helpful to say particularly. Need this red to come back, but it's come back too much. Oh. Not what he intended at all. It'll no, be not what we intended. Neil Robertson, eight. It was a bit silly trying to play for the red, you know. There, we should have just played safe again. And I'm at, sorry, playing for, well, playing the black for the red. Should just not give Ronnie a, a sniff at all, because now we're powerless. He could do something special here. I don't think he will do with uh, the position he's got here. I could be wrong. But for the first time in this decider, we've not got the power. And that's a fantastic pot. Wowzers. Oh my god. It's going to happen, isn't it? Fifteen. <laughs> Yikes. Seventeen. Yeah, I think he can pot everything now, you know. Pretty well. Apologies for not saying much here, but yeah, I, I'd have thought at least in this decided that we'd have got the frame. Twenty-four. Twenty-five. Thirty-one. Thirty-two. <laughs> oh 31. no. No, 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 no. 40. 40. Surely not. You'll want this to drop into the centre. Got a brilliant chance here, though. 46. Couple of good pots, and we're out. How the hell has that happened? This is no gimme. Great shot. Whatever happens here, we're going to be speechless. 47, 54. He ain't going to give this up now. <laughs> oh my god. 55. He needs a colour. And he, need, he needs this red. He needs the red. Ronnie only needs the red. <gasps> no! <laughs> Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Let me just put the controller down. <sighs> Can you get your breath? We've got to go for the pot. We can't fly safe. Yeah, we've got to go for the pot, haven't we? There's no other way to play this. So this pot this could be our last shot. It's there. Down it goes. Oh my god. For the first what? time, this is back in our court. We've we've now got a chance. He's lining this up into the right middle pocket. <sighs> Seven. If we clear the colours, we have well. Going to not play the best shot there. Just wants to sink this into the left corner pocket. If we if we no. get these five balls, we have performed the biggest robbery ever. And I thought it was Ronnie that was about to say that. Right, this is a very tough pot, pot. but I'm faithful that we've got it right. We have, we have. That's just unbelievable. Brilliant. Well. <sighs> I said either way this went, I'd be speechless. This looks we need a good brown. Oh, we've overhit that. 
Need a bit of help from the cushion, please. We've got it. 16. Blue, pink, and black. He's an expert long potter, and he's taking this on. Blue's there. I don't think the position on the pink's great. Oh, that stinks. That's horrible. Superb queuing. Flipping heck. 21. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh my god. Whoever pots these two bulls. Well, Ronnie, Ronnie only needs one of them. Alright then. Whoever pots the black wins this match. Just needs a bit more power on that blue. We're going to have to go for that. We have no other option. We can't play this safe. And it's as tricky to the black pocket. Well, it's tricky to the corner pocket, sorry, as it is no more than to the other. Chance here. No, We've missed it. Time. We've Close, missed it. We've missed it. No, no, no. Oh, my God. Neil Robertson, what did we do that for? Just the pink required now. Shit. Oh, my God. Gives him the match. No real route back in for his opponent. Six. Thirteen. Frame and match. Ronnie O'Sullivan. And he's into the quarterfinals. Well deserved. How did that happen? How did that happen? We we had to go for the pot on the pink, really. That's not where we lost the match, to be honest. We had to go for the pot on the pink, you know. We could have played it harder with the blue. Of course we could. But I think we'd lost the match a long, long time before that. But how has that happened? We were 12-5 up. Ronnie won eight in a row. Well, can you believe that? Can you believe it? I just don't know what more to say. That's the end of season three. That's not something I expected to say at the end of today's episode. But it's Mark Selby who wins the Betfred World Championship. I think he won it in season one, so uh, it doesn't drop any prize money. And we stay where we are in the rankings, but next tournament, Riga Masters qualifiers. How has that happened? <sighs> I don't think these rankings are updated, by the way. Yikes. So, this season. Oh, what's... Uh... What's the achievement for? Earned a million in prize money. Bloody hell. We have as well. Don't know how we managed that. Three ranked tournament wins. Two unranked tournament wins. I mean, we dropped down by six. And uh, we enter a new season. Judd Trump's still at number one. You know, it's not really changed too much, to be honest. Ronnie very close to dropping down to seven. We're still in 13th. Yeah, not much has changed, really. Which is a shame. I can't believe that. Um, more analysis to come in the next video, where we'll uh, go over the whole season and, and talk about this more in depth when I've had a few days to recover. But, uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> if you've got to this point of the video, you are an absolute saint. But that is the end of Season 3 of our Snooker 19 Pro career with Neil Robertson. Uh, I think we were all hoping for a lot more than that. And, and, and at the end of the 18th frame, then I really thought we could have done a lot more than that. But by hook or by crook, uh, it's not happened. That is quite unbelievable. And it's going to take me a bit of time to process that. Unbelievable. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I've been uh, TIJ Gaming, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye for now.